Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a new tutorial on modeling, texturing and lighting and interior in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's take up a reference over here. So let's go into file, view image file and I will go into this. So I have a reference over here for this interior. So let's model this. So let's first go over here, create a plane. Go to the top view, AC extended, take a wall and I will press S over here for the snap part. So I will just snap this wall over here and again I will increase its size over here. So now what I will be doing over here is like will be leaving some space over here so let's just take a box over here till here shuffle it up so we'll be utilizing this much of the space so convert to editable poly select the vertices slightly push it in front so I'll go into this view over here convert to editable poly select the vertices shuffle this up and slightly just push it till here And I can even scale this if needed. Alright. So now, so first we'll be just doing the blocking part over here. So for that, I'll convert to editable poly. Select the edges. And I'll give a bit of connect over here. Select this again. I'll again give a bit of connect. I'll slightly just place it over here. So now. Again, I'll go into this, select this edges, let's give multiple connects over here. So select this polygons and slightly give inset by polygon, click OK and I will shuffle it you can say just slightly extrude it out over here again select this edges let's give multiple connects over here okay So select this again, select the polygons, and let's slightly give inset, and again the same thing that's your extrude over here. <coughs> so we can slightly extrude this in the same way. After that, definitely we will be creating this stuff. 
So now what I can do over here is like let's create a bed over here. So for that we'll be utilizing some of the space from here in this way. So slightly just scale it up. Push this a bit up, not much. And convert to editable poly. Select this polygon, slightly shuffle this up. I'll isolate this selection. Let's give a bit of inset over here. Let's give extrude and isolate this. Select this. Again, I'll give a bit of inset. So, definitely, we are going to create this individually, or we can say uh, differently. slightly extrude it up and down over here alright so we'll go with the details later on I'll again go over here let's again take a chamfer box So you have a fillet option, you can slightly work with the fillet, increase its height, convert to poly, again go into the vertices. Slightly in this way, much better. So if you want, I can still increase it over here. Looks much better now. Definitely will detail it later on. So let me save this file once over here. Always save your files whenever you are starting up with anything. So now increase it a bit, push it up. So take again a box over here so let's just take a box right from the top view so take a box over here so I'll slightly increase its height up till here So now you can again go over here, convert to editable poly. So you can even make it as round as a cylinder. I think it's round as a cylinder. So what I'll do over here is like, I can just go again and I can slightly just shuffle it over here. Let's again go to the top view over here. So let's again take a cylinder over here. 
let's increase its height so I'll reduce the height segments So I'll just go towards the end of this. Let's again make one more copy of it. Select this both. Make again a copy. Again go to the top view. Let's just take a box over here. And slightly I'll just shuffle this up over here so now what I can do is like I'll convert this all to editable poly and I'll just attach it this all four over here slightly just push it up so how you can make the wheels very simple so let's just take a spear over here so go into this so convert to editable poly so select the polygons over here select this and let's give a bevel by local normal reduce it alright so once you're done after that can just go over here and you have an arc tool over here let's use an arc tool like this so go into rendering enable in viewport alright so let's just group it so it's not going to be in that much of the details so I'll just place it over here right from the top over here and I'll select this so select this all polygons let's slightly give a bit of inset and extrude a bit and let's click ok so once you are done can just push it in this way so again go to the top view rotate it and just duplicate it again over here alright so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so as you can see we have started with this modeling of this particular interior over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel if you are not subscribed yet so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.